uh, Escott going for it. Fellow in front of me here looks like he's got a radar gun, so he'll be the one measuring the speed. I get, I take it. So uh, number eleven from uh, Calgary. Or sorry, that's not Calgary. That's Cochrane. And on the other side, looks like they're warming up the goalies. So. Oh, there's some big shots coming. Tyson looks like he's trying to scare his mum behind the glass. Mm -hmm. It worked, but apparently. Starting out with the hardest shot competition. Oh, there's a teddy bear here. I don't know what he's doing, but getting pictures. anyone was paying attention but uh, KC beat uh, Cochrane in a penalty filled affair so uh, reviewing the rules it looks like head-to-head uh, -head is the first tiebreaker so NEZ will be finishing third or should be finishing third so that should mean they'll be playing Calgary at 7:30 this evening like a little bit of confusion over what's going on here with the hardest shot.
Okay, hardest shot here. So first player up is uh, one of the guys from Calgary. About 76 miles an hour. So I'm not sure how many attempts he gets. Here's number two. One hundred and ten. Oh that must be kilometers per hour. So one hundred and ten kilometers per hour. We were fooling around with one of these at uh, our fun day for hockey, and the highest was 107. So the last attempt was 103. So 110 for number 20 out of uh, Calgary. Looks like uh, Jordan Escott coming up next. From Edmonton, NUZ. Ascot's first attempt was 85 kilometers per hour. The second attempt, oh, 98 kilometers per hour. Let's see him break 110 here. Comes a big boom. Oh, that one seemed harder. Oh, it didn't read. That looked like a better attempt, but it uh, didn't read. So he'll go for one more here. Big skate up. Oh, he didn't get all that one. 98. So. Jordan didn't uh, beat the kid out of Calgary, so that was 98 was the hardest. Here's a uh, buddy from Cochrane, I believe. 80, 97 there, that was his first attempt. Oh, top shelf, 100. Kilometers per hour. And 30 times. Another 100. <coughs> well, there's uh, Tyson Smith going up for KC out of Edmonton. Tyson with the big wind up and 84. Sounded loud. Radar says otherwise. Here he goes again with a bit more of a skate up here. 86. There's his third attempt. Eighty-one kilometers per hour. So uh, it looks like they might get a couple more chances here. Uh, a couple of guys from the uh, Tier 3 division. It's like uh, Grand Prairie Knights player. Oh, they're shooting a different direction.
That was 86 kilometers per hour. Seven on that one. Sturgeon, Spurs, 89 kilometers per hour. Attempt. 115. 117 and 115, the two highest so far. Another fellow from uh, Cochrane, slowly up to it. Oh, didn't get all that one. So at 89. Ninety three kilometers per hour. Nope. And then an eighty six. So taking the hardest shot contest was a player from Red Deer. I'm assuming, unless they're going to do extra attempts. He was 117, and uh, the fellow out of Calgary was 110, I believe. Well, maybe a couple of the harder ones get a second attempt. Touching the guy from Red Deer. Oh, no kidding, eh? And 107. First one with the 112. 
and a 106. Oh, you're up, son. Oh, we'll go back the other. Oh, other side? Move! I, I have no idea why they're switching sides, but they are. Oh, that's the tier one champion. Luca Feld from Calgary. they're doing next. I'm uh, guessing that none of those guys shooting are going to be doing the skating competition, which looks like that's what they're doing next, is uh, probably a time drop. We'll see if they put out pylons or move the nets up. I hope they move the nets up. It's pretty tough getting around these nets when they're that tight. Looks like Reese getting ready to go. Uh, they should move the nets up a little bit. That's dangerous. Anyways. Oh, it's actually a race. It's not even time. You see how they do here? Oh, looks like they are moving the nets up. Let's see there. I'll move this I'll go down this way. Right, we'll pull them to the front of the crease, which is definitely a lot safer. No, no, that was... <laughs> no, 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 no.
Oh, he's still adjusting the net so they're consistent. Art of man! Wow, that was one of the punks from Red Deer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Dowling off to the races. Get out of here. Oh shit. Dowling thought it was only half and he stopped at half. Wow. He beat him by a long shot too. He had him beat by about 20 feet. Ah, oh, geez. We sat him by about 20 feet and he stopped at the red line halfway. No, no. Oh, they're going the other way this time. Oh, pretty even to start here. Bit of a long turn. Here we go. Like white one. It was close. Leading a little bit. Let's see if he can hold on for the dub. Yeah, black one. putting his helmet back on they're gonna give him another shot at it so they're gonna redo the first race give him another chance First half, oh, the guy from uh, Cochrane looks like he's in the lead. Yeah, the guy from Cochrane won it by a fair bit. Looks like the two guys who won their first race now from the tier three. Oh, pretty even at half. We'll see where we're, where we're at here. Oh, that was too close to call from this angle. 
That was too close to call, and actually the guy on the line is even saying it was too close to call. Oh, and here's the tier one race. How'd you get on dress? This is my friend. He won the skills comp. How'd he go with regular on dress? He won the skills comp. Looked like the white guy. Yeah. KC player. Oh, are they doing another race here with the going the opposite direction now? So they're going to go the other way and see if there's a winner. And they're all. It looks like 11 from uh, Grand Prairie. No, Black took it. So the kid from Cochrane took it for the tier 3 one. I think now we do a uh, shootout competition, I believe. shootout competition. I think Reese was actually winning in that first race, and then he's, yeah, I think so. But he, the other guy beat him by a fair bit on the second go. Your boy's pretty fast. It's a Noah? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't think he's that fast. He's got low, low power stride. I would have said Reese or Graham would be the fastest yeah. if I had to guess. I mean, Leighton's pretty fast too. Yeah. He might be there too. I'm sure the boys know. They probably in practice he was the fastest. I think he's the corners. Yeah. You know who's really smooth is uh, Sherman. Yeah. He's a really smooth skater. Yeah. Yeah, he, I think he could do pretty well going around those corners. And, Is it? Yeah, it looks that way. This is more about the shooter than the goalie on this Well, it sucks to be the goalie because, uh, yeah, you don't know, <laughs> especially different shooters, you don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. I'm going to try to catch the shooter here as he goes in. 
First up, uh, I think it's the same kid who did the shooting for Calgary. Yeah. One hardest shot. Yeah. So we'll see what he see if he winds up and takes a hard <laughs> one from the ringette right line. I'm sure everyone will be really impressed if he blows the goalie's oh, yeah. head off. As long as he doesn't do it against our goalie. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should have set up the tripod. This is starting to hurt my hand. I practiced for years with that goalie coach. Yeah, on shootouts. Okay. He's normally really good. <laughs> One time in Kiwi, we had an opportunity in the tournament. There's ten rounds of and they let me win. Oh wow. <laughs> what are you doing? I think last year he beat KC too. In the shootout. In the, uh, in the city finals. Oh really? Yeah. Actually, that's not so bad. Oh, sh shoot here. KC. It's Byron Simpson from KC. Byron Simpson from KC. Byron from KC. I think they kind of do all four shooters against each goalie. That would be fair. Yeah, you think. So they should have all four shooters ready to go here. I guess the same shooter team for four goals. No, but it, I think it's... Usually it's both at the same time. The best goalie versus the... Uh, to me, that would be fair. Each shooter shoots against each goalie. But he can't shoot against his own goalie. <laughs> Very good. I don't know. Then he would like, Maybe not try. Or he would miss. Yeah. 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 The goalie misses. Player misses? Oh, yeah. That's better than a, that's better than a save. He didn't even have to save it. The guy had nothing to shoot at. Okay, here we go. Here goes the uh, shooter from Calgary up against Byron from uh, KC. He comes in slowly. This is the net. I don't know how it goes next. I'm guessing, like I said, each shooter goes against each goalie. So here comes Layton. Layton winding up. Let's see. See if he elects for the one timer. Oh. 
Grab and save. Here comes the uh, guy from Cochrane. Let's see if he runs him. Uh, I guess that happened earlier in the game today. Oh, nice dangles. He missed the net, eh? Yeah. It's hard to see when I'm trying to do the video. <laughs> Okay, here comes uh, the guys from the Tier 3 teams. Oh, oh, he lifted his leg. Two, two lift, leg lifts, but he missed. That was uh, slow motion leg lifts. I think he almost had him faked out. Let's see what the next one does. It's a guy from Sturgeon. His last name is Pi. Oh, he's going all over the place, digging and dangling. And oh yeah, there you go. Finds it on the back ender and puts it in. The slow motion dangles work. Thanks. It's not broken, it's uh, magnetic, so it's all good. Okay, uh, here we go. Now tier one again. So this is a KC guy going up against a guy from Cochrane. He's very good. We'll see, oh, dangles. A little roundabout. There you go. That was smooth. That was smooth. What's his name? Hey, you see? You see? Yeah, that was a, those are smooth moves. Here comes a guy from Calgary. Let's see the big windup. Oh no, he goes to the back end and just put aside. Here comes Leighton. See some big league dangles from Leighton. Oh, he's using speed. Well, he's way out. Oh, there's a spinorama. Didn't find the net though. <laughs> you never know if you don't try. Okay, here comes a uh, guy from Grand Prairie. Oh, slowly gets it to the back end and puts it in. Slow and smooth. Comes Pi from Virgin. Uh, and he's dangling. Oh, working his way across. Yeah! He was going back down the whole way, but it was never there. Never there. <laughs> Here comes the fellow from Cochran. Oh, no, buddy! He's slow wheel. Oh, roof daddy. Top shelf and he scores. Oh, here comes Bannonette for an easy. His dad tells me he practiced a lot as a kid on shootouts. So we'll see how he does. Here comes a guy from Cochrane. He looks like he might just lose the puck. We'll see. No, he keeps it on a stick. Oh, bended move, the guy. Caught him reaching. Here comes a uh, fellow from KC. He was really smooth in his last move. There he goes. Coming across. Oh, stops. And Rhoda kicks out the leg and makes the stop. And here comes Calgary's shooter. Dingling and dangling and shoots and Ben's having none of it. So one for three. I think that's been pretty consistent. I did the first goal, he stopped them all. Stopped them all. Here comes the guy from Grand Prairie. 
Slow and smooth. Oh, getting the cowboy goal there? Oh, and he nets it. Sneaky forehand to the blocker's side. Nobody saw that one coming. Here comes the guy from right there. Oh, and he tries the poke check, misses, but he couldn't slide it through the giant five hole. <laughs> oh, here comes a kid from Cochrane. Rolling in with speed. Oh, this is the net. Not quite as smooth as his last one there where he went top shelf. Oh, here comes the uh, Calgary goalie. We'll see. Clayton should get up to full speed and run him right over. <laughs> here he comes. Coming in a little slower this time. Oh, he's going to try to pick it up. Oh, he does. And it's off the post. That was pretty. Couldn't score, but that for stylistic endeavor, that should be number one. Here comes a kid out of Cochrane. Oh, nice save. Oh, the big run up. And then he slows right down. Here he comes. Oh, and he fell. I wasn't sure if that was part of the move or not. But. So the Calgary goalie, I think that means he didn't let any in, right? That, uh, I thought maybe that was all part of the move, but it wasn't, I guess. Oh, here comes a guy from Sturgeon. Oh, and he finds the glove side open. from Grand Prairie. Oh, dangles in and big save. Comes a guy from Cochrane coming in wide. On his forehand. Oh, he was going forehand the whole time. Couldn't find a hope name. We'll see how they uh, settle any tiebreakers here. Yeah. Well, I don't Maybe know what happened there. He blew a tire yeah, at the bring out line. The second shooter lost control too. Layton put it off the post. Yeah. That was pretty. That was a cool move. Cool. Oh, here comes a guy from Cochrane in on Byron Simpson from KC. Dangling, dangling, and backhander stopped. Now. The KC shooter on the KC goalie. Uh, this could be interesting. See if he blows a tire at the ringette yeah, line again. Oh, no. Oh, Cochran, the guy going. Is that again then? Oh, he comes in wide. Coming across. Shoots and both save. Third attempt, I'm not sure what's going on here. It's the shooters get three shot, three attempts. Another save by Byron. Oh, 
Yeah, I think they were both, uh, they've made all their saves. So Byron made all his saves again there. How come there's two Calgary goalies out? Yeah. Here comes... One more competition for the goalies. Oh, is there? Oh, and Bucci finds the net. And here comes Bucci again. Big slapper, fakes it, finds the hole. Uh, two for two so far. When he doesn't trip on the ringette line, he does not bad. Here he comes. Then Bucci on his back then comes across. Oh, he tries the one-handed Forsberg, but misses. I think that means that the KC goalie wins the event, but I'm not too sure how they're doing it. KC goalie and the KC shooter win for Div 1. I still think Leighton should have got some extra points for the style. Looks like uh, the uh, what's the second? What's the next competition? It must be the goalies. Uh, you get the race out to the blue line. You get two bucks, two them. Race cross, you get two more bucks in the back of the net. Oh really? It's like an ops. Oh, okay. How's Ben on ska skating? Is he fast or? <laughs> Okay, here comes slow and steady from Grand Prairie. Looks like they're trying to break a tiebreaker here as well. Well, maybe not. This guy looks like he's 30. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like someone's dad's in the competition as he comes rolling in. Slow and steady. Oh, wow, he beat the goalie twice, I'd say. I think he could have scored on his forehand or the backhand. That was sneaky smooth. Oh, here comes Pi. Coming in, taking it wide. Oh, he did a little, two little uh, eagle turns, but couldn't find the net. Okay, here comes slow and steady. I can't believe they let someone's dad go in the competition. Finds the hole. He's got dangles. Oh, and here comes Pi from Sturgeon. Oh, put on the brakes to slow it down. No goal. I'm not sure what they're trying to settle here. If that's for the shooters or if that was for the uh, goalies, but. The fellow out of Grand Prairie looked really good. I think they're going to check his birth certificate, though.
Oh, this is the GP guy coming in on his go own goalie. We'll see. Coming in slow. Oh, I'm not sure what happened if he meant to shoot, but he could have went to his backhand there. It was wide open. Comes the guy from Sturgeon on his backhand, slowing it right down. Oh, and he finds the roof. Comes the guy out of Grand Prairie. Oh, he's got him on the backhand. It was wide. What? They're saying that was no goal. On did that not go in? Uh, it looked like that went in from here, but uh, it was waved off. I'm not sure why. Oh, here comes Pi doing his eagle turns. Oh, and he shoots it low, block the side, and it's kicked aside. Here comes the fellow of the Grand Prairie. Coming in nice and slow. Oh, backhand and that backhand move of his just keeps on working. Here comes the Sturgeon player. Oh, backhand. He had the goal he burned before he even got across the ring at one. It's his own goalie, so getting the stare down. Not supposed to do that to your own goalie, I guess. Comes the guy out of Grand Prairie. Slowly into the net. Oh. Tried doing his leg kicks again. Those aren't working for him. Comes high from Sturgeon. Oh, it comes in fast. Gets poke chat. I think they just keep on tying these goalies. I think these goalies are all tied again. I think they each let in like one or two goals, but it's the same. It's gonna do maybe rock, paper, scissors for a tie break. But we'll see what they decide on. does anything different.
Comes by from Sturgeon. He finds the net. I don't know, they're just keep sending different goalies in. I don't know what's going on here. Is that what it is? The players are even? Yeah. I thought this big fella is probably up by a couple, but maybe not. Oh, he goes to the back end. Never fails. I don't know why he would ever do anything different than that. Here comes Pi out of Sturgeon. Coming in wide with speed. Oh, and the goalie stretches out and shuts her down. So the guy, somebody's dad from Grand Prairie just won. I want to see his ID. That mustache is solid. I don't know who won the tier three goalie. Oh, the guy from uh, Grand Prairie as well. There you go. Grand Prairie and KC, the shutout kings, the shootout kings. I think they got some kind of a skills thing for goalies now. We'll watch them skid around like a bunch of donkeys. It's time? There's a race. Maybe one going on each side? I hope Noah's smart enough to get himself some food for pregame here. So I don't know if I'm going to go back to Calgary or it's worth driving back and forth <laughs> after this. If it was five, definitely not. Maybe this will what, finish off. 7.30 in the game as well? Yeah, it'll be 7.30, so. What time is it now? Did it say anywhere? 1.45. Yeah, it's Seems weird. Yeah, it's been a long day. Yeah. So they have back here. Oh, here we go. So they start out laying on their back. They got to come up to the blue line, shoot it, and then here we go. It's time. It's always funny watching goalie skate. Oh, we'll see him. He's got a score, I think. Oh, one goal. Here he comes now. Oh, just wide. And the second one finds the net and he stops. So it's timed, and I think they count how many goals he scores as a tiebreaker. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm guessing Ben's gonna be faster than that guy, but we'll see what his shooting's like. <laughs> Spin around, oh, that looked quick. Oh, dropping the stick, that hurts. Uh, that's a rough start for Ben. Hughes, I'm pretty sure he was faster. Coming in. One, two, and he hustles to the crease. 
think dropping the stick there for costing. Okay, here comes the guy from Cochran. fast. I'd say that's the fastest, but his shooting is the worst. His skating has definitely been the fastest. I think he's going, I don't know, he's not even trying to put it in the net. Maybe it's all about time and the goals is just a, uh, a tiebreaker at the same time. Casey Goy. Oh yeah, he's faster even than the last guy. Those are two good shots, one's in. <laughs> oh, that was a nice little maneuver. Oh, and he breaks his leg on the post. <laughs> That was fast. I think he he may have been the fastest. Do they go again, or is it just the times and they pick a winner? Yeah, but if it's not on gold, it's probably their time too, right? Mm -hmm. So. Looks like uh, Casey Goalie was the fastest, so he wins, even though he scored one goal. So Byron Simpson, affiliate for KC, wins again. Okay, I'm gonna cut her off here because all the NEZ guys are done. So, game at 7:30, I believe. Yeah.